Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's Workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy, you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. And please turn on that notification bell so that you can find out what I'm up to next. All right, let's get started. All right, this is my hashtag Friday Says video where I talk about what I've been up to in the workshop. Um, this Friday Sales group was created by Jenny Weissner and it is a Facebook book. So creators group on Facebook, please go on over. We would love to have you and come and share what you've been creating as well as what you've been doing on your channel. It's a great place to be. The group always, or Jenny always posts a moderator question to start the conversation. And this week is, are you a quilter? What have you quilted and do you like to quilt? Yeah, I do believe I'm a quilter. <laughs> I will show you some of the things I've made and um, I am currently not quilting because I'm a seasonal quilter. I can't seem to work myself up to quilting till fall and winter, but here are a few things I've made. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a quilter. <laughs> I love quilting. I love playing with the fabrics. I love um, drawing pictures. I'm more of an art quilter um, than a traditional pieced um, uh, quilter. I love to make pictures. I love to tell stories with quilts and, and yeah, I'm a quilter. <laughs> Now, currently, my favorite quilt is a quilt that I worked on for over seven years or more, and it's called The Gardener's Lament. And it celebrates my other love of gardening and some of the problems you can have if you're a gardener, and I'll display it over here. It was a joy to make. So this week was spent finishing up the new capsule wardrobe for Sarah. And I have one to show you, she already wore it. Anyway, so I have stuff to show you. Um, I made several pieces. Um, I think I almost used the same patterns. No, I may use some different ones. Let me get them for you. Okay, so I will move over here. So I leave space over here to show the pictures of Sarah wearing the outfits I made. I made her, oh, let's see. Hmm. I made her a tie dye long sleeve uh, t shirt from Nancy Zeman's M4312. It is out of print, y'all, but I think you might be able to find it on Etsy. I made uh, this. Um, uh, t-shirt over here with long sleeves. I wanted to be able to push it up. I made it over a super light um, knit. Um, almost had a little ITY feel to it, but it had a little brushed um, feel to it. So I knew it was like um, a, um, a knit. Very little cotton in it, but so cute, so pretty, so smooth. And this is her wearing it. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next piece I made her. And you just do what you need to do. The next piece I made her is Vogue 8806. I like the idea of this short sleeved athletic dress. I brought the zipper all the way down to the bottom so it's a separating zipper. It's a rhinestone zipper because Sarah ain't afraid of no rhinestones. <laughs> and so I will show you to her wearing it over here. It is reversible, of course, and it can double as both an athletic dress and it can double as a duster or jacket when uh, things get a little cooler where she's going to be working. Okay. 
I have to admit, I absolutely love this. The first time I made it, I had a little trouble. I put a white separate, uh, double-sided zipper in it. The white was too loud for the, um, for the um, tie-dye and the light blue. Not that the rhinestone um, zipper was any better, <laughs> but I felt better about it. When I put the white zipper in, it buckled. So I took it out and thank you, Marcy Harrell. She had done a video a long time ago about stabilizing your zipper. And I put in, I have a little video on it. Um, I put out for So April, hashtag So April 2024 as my tip of the week. And I used some knit interfacing in the seam allowances of where I was gonna place the zipper and it came out super smooth and super cute. I also made another skirt uh, by So House 7, the uh, elemental pencil skirt. I shortened it above the knee for my girl and super easy to make, front and back, super easy to make. I do remember something being off with this um, uh, top, like some pattern piece. I can't remember. I think I wrote the notes inside the, um, the, um, on the, on the pattern. I think I complained about it last week. So I, last year. So I'll leave that alone. It's a favorite skirt to make. I made it double-sided reversible so that she can wear the gray or she can wear the blue with various tops and leggings and things like that. Now, I absolutely love this pattern, McCall's 8244. I made the leggings for her. I made, I went back and I made the caramel. So simple. It's one pattern piece cut out, one waistband piece cut out. S simple, like an hour at the most. Okay, so I made her a, a double-sided pair in gray and blue to match with the top I made. Now, y'all, I don't know what was wrong with me with this top. I have never taken anything out so many times. I don't know if I'm sad that Sarah is leaving. I don't know if I'm just of a certain age, but I had to take that top apart so many times. And then when I made it reversible, I had to take it apart again because there is a sidedness, it's amp amphiphatic, it has a handedness. This blue on the front is supposed to match the blue on the back, right? Girl, y'all, I couldn't get it right. <laughs> I don't know what my problem was, but Sarah forgave me. I made it reversible with the blue solid. I made a new pattern piece and I made a blue solid and then I had the patchwork or the color blocked on the other side. And this is her wearing it here. I don't know if she's wearing it with the leggings or with the skirt, but it gives like a whole bunch of uh, five looks, 10 poss infinite possibilities of what can go with what. Okay, so that's it for the um, what I worked on this week. I am also working on a layer, another layer cake dress because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and I'm doing it in blues and you'll see that in the near future. Um, that's about it. I do have, I think, a haul. So Pings had the nerve to have a sale this week. Now, y'all, it's not like Joann's where there's circulars and there's always stuff going on uh, that you can get a discount on. There's not anything like that at Ping's. So the manager said to me, as I was having something cut, <laughs> she said, you know, on Wednesday, there's going to be a sale. You want to make sure you're here for it. And then I was like, oh. So I said to her, what do you have in this store that I haven't already bought? <laughs> She laughed and I laughed, but I sure was there on Wednesday picking up one piece of fabric that I needed. So let me show you what I got on the haul. Now I told you about pings. If I want an elephant, they're gonna have one. I went in there looking for, I wanted some white dress uh, uh, pant weight material because a lot of my stuff 
works with white pants. I love white pants, white shorts, white skirts, all of that. And I went in there and this is what happened. Well, you would be so proud of me on this haul in that I was looking for particular fabric and I was looking for this, but I was also looking for this and the gray, but all that they had was the blue. So I went to my local Kings, which you know is my favorite store to go into, and they had enough for me to correct this crazy top I made that didn't work out. Anyway, so while I was in there, I told you this is where it goes wrong. <laughs> I was proud of myself for not going in there without any reason, but when I went in there, I of course go back to the bargain table to the 94 cents to see what they have. And I recently purchased a white pair of linen look pants, full, a pair of white cargos, because all of my stuff goes with white. And that's what I used to love to wear until September, but now I can wear it year round. So anyway, I go back there and there's white, bottom weight fabric with a little bit of a stretch. Now I only bought six yards but um, there's a sale on Wednesday. So if I go by on Wednesday, I'm gonna get the rest of the roll because the imperfection in this is that on the fold, there's a thin red line. I'm making pants and bottoms. It's wide enough for me to, um, it's wide enough for me to make what I want. There's no imperfections in the middle. It is white, y'all. I just talked about this and the sewing gods delivered. Okay, so I got six yards of that. I should have just taken the whole roll because white, white, uh, white basics are my wheelhouse. Anyway, so then I got this blue navy twill because my other color is navy. And it was $2 and I think 64 cents a yard. So I got five yards of that to make some. I don't need anything on the top, just like shorts, pants, capri pants. That's what I'm looking for to go with all of my top, all my glory. And on the way out, just because I love daisies. <laughs> this was in the tub that you have to weigh it for. It's knit fabric and you have to weigh it. So it's 700 Jamaican dollars a pound, which translate to about $5 and something cents a, um, a pound. And I don't think this is, this might be half a pound. So not too bad as far as holes go. So just in case you were worried, I went back on the sale day and bought the rest of the row of white fabrics so i have enough stuff to make all of my basic uh leisure wear pants shorts um skirts not so much jackets i'm finding that the need for upper it's not that much if i was in the united states yes but but not here but so excited to have this fabric it has stretch a little bit of stretch in it it's got a w nice hand. I think I did really good. Well, you would be so proud of me on this haul in that I was looking for particular fabric and I was looking for this, but I was also looking for this and the gray, but all that they had was the blue. So I went to my local Kings, which you know is my favorite store to go into, and they had enough for me to correct this crazy top I made that didn't work out. Anyway, so while I was in there, I told you this is where it goes wrong. <laughs> I was proud of myself for not going in there without any reason, but when I went in there, I of course go back to the bargain table to the 94 cents to see what they have. and. I recently purchased a white pair of linen look pants, full, a pair of white cargos, because all of my stuff goes with white. And that's what I used to love to wear until September, but now I can wear it year round. So anyway, I go back there and there's white, bottom weight fabric with a little bit of a stretch. Now I only bought six yards, 
but um, there's a sale on Wednesday. So if I go by on Wednesday, I'm gonna get the rest of the roll because the imperfection in this is that on the fold, there's a thin red line. I'm making pants and bottoms. It's wide enough for me to, um, it's wide enough for me to make what I want. There's no imperfections in the middle. It is white, y'all. I just talked about this and the sewing gods delivered. Okay, so I got six yards of that. I should have just taken the whole roll because white, white, uh, white basics are my wheelhouse anyway. So then I got this blue navy twill because my other color is navy and it was two dollars and i think 64 cents a yard so i got five yards of that to make some i don't need anything on the top just like shorts pants capri pants that's what i'm looking for to go with all of my top all my glory and on the way out just because i love daisies <laughs> this was in the tub that you have to weigh it for it's knit fabric and you have to weigh it so it's 700 Jamaican dollars a pound, which translate to about $5 and something cents a, um, a pound. And I don't think this is, this might be half a pound. So not too bad as far as holes go. 